Hiya guys, Aquaman here. I'm going to be doing a quick video today on how to calibrate the Jabo DP4 doser. So to start off with, uh, I'm going to be doing my calcium one. Um, I have already done my KH one just to make sure that everything was working okay. Um, first of all, uh, I am going to be using RODI. I'm going to use this to help flush the line through and get rid of all the old calcium as I'm going to be starting dosing um, essential uh, ATI essentials. Uh, I've gone mixed up. I've got one here. Uh, that I'm just sitting the doser on on this little table just uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, I've put the calcium uh, intake line into the RO um, and first things first we have to give it a little flush through um, just to make sure that there's no air in the line, um, no blockages um, and we do that by first of all pushing on this left arrow. We select pump 2 and we can hold that and it will manually dose. Right, so as you can see, um, I'm just holding the button down, the centre button, on where it's got the menu mode pumps. Uh, I'm running RODI through the pipeline, making sure there's no air bubbles and everything's flowing okay. Uh, that seems to be flowing pretty good now. Um, and uh, we're now ready to calibrate the pump. Right guys, so we're ready to start calibrating uh, pump number two. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a 100ml uh, jug, as you can see it's got 100ml there. Um, this is so that the doser can measure out 100ml of fluid and it works out how long it takes to measure 100ml of fluid, thereby uh, being able to work out how much to dose in the future. Um, so to get onto calibration mode, all we do is hit this up arrow. Um, we go across to pump 2 because that is the pump that we're wishing to calibrate. Um, this doser actually goes up to 8 because you can uh, add a slave unit onto it. So this will be the main um, main control unit uh, and you can add 4 more pumps uh, to this unit. Um, however, we want to do pump 2 so we click on 2. Um, as you can see, it's got the 100ml and this is how many seconds it currently takes to do 100ml. This is wrong because I've been messing about with it on one thing and another. So to start it up, all we do is push the up arrow and then uh, you'll see that the, um, the timer starts counting. So I'll show you that now briefly. So it started timing how long it takes to 100ml. If we push it again, the arrow stops. So when I get to 100ml in my jug, I will then push the up arrow again and uh, the numbers uh, have been coming up to me around the 190 mark, uh, 190 that is. So um, it does take a little bit of time uh, but it's not too bad. Then when that's set all I have to do is push the escape and then I can then program the dosing pump which I will do another video on. So please like and subscribe my channel. Uh, please give me any feedback and what videos you would like to see and uh, what I need to do better. I am learning. This is only my sixth video. I um, hope you like it. Enjoy, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.